in between the boards. And man, when the pressure's on, it seems like it is a long way. Brandon Jones with the honors, and now Trey Birchfield, his first bag. Immediately on that left side, Brandon Jones has got some mess to deal with, while Birchfield still has a lane. But just an unbelievable cut flop combination by Brandon Jones. He's got to do that again if he wants to get in. Now he's laid up behind, and Birchfield's got a decision between an airmail and a layup. It's going up. Go ahead. Too strong. One hops off the back of the board, and now back to Brandon Jones. Get playing out. on national television for just the second time. And he hits and drills that airmail. Goes back on Birchfield's end to hit another airmail, and he's deep again. And just like that, a young gun stay hot with a four-point round, oh, giving up a single point. What a weekend here in Virginia Beach. Well, Trey Birchfield, you see him there on the left right there. Just 18 years old from Ohio. And the defending pro singles world champion. He won it just a month ago up in Rock Hill, South Carolina. A little bit of a step out here. Do we see a roll or an airmail? He's going roll. Play one. Shot. Jones just lays it up, but the vibration on the board takes his other bag in from the back side of the hole. Birchfield again going for it, misses. Another airmail miss. That's three straight airmail misses by Trey Birchfield. Jones knocks it through again. And Birchfield again can't find the target. Too strong again, and Brandon Jones now extends their lead to 11 to nothing. Well, when I'm calling a Clemmer Jones game, I guess I can't call it an airmail. That's another stovepipe, as they call it. I said it would be the key for them to win this game, and right now, looking good on the back of airmails by Brandon Jones. Puts him up 11-0. And again, for those of you just tuning in and again, maybe unfamiliar with the sport, Birchfield and Ryan Windsor, the number one and two players in the world. There's Duncan Clemmer on the left. Ryan Windsor, the number two player in the world on the right. That one's off the back of the board, and now another huge opportunity here for Clemmer and Jones. Setting up for a possible five-point round right now for Duncan Clemmer. Will he get super aggressive? He's going to roll over it, and it almost gets all the way over. Just sticks on top. If if the bags get touched here by Windsor, will it still fall in? It might. He knocks two of them in. That's going to be a seven-point round. And just like that, with that Mike's hard four-bagger by Duncan Clemmer. Clemmer and Jones sit two points away. What in the world has happened here? 18-point lead. Wait, Trey, you talked about the run that Jones and Clem are on. Really, I mean, not a shutout, but it still continues. Okay, you're on. What a dominant weekend for these two. And finally, an airmail here. Yeah, lay up, bluff him. Or Duncan Clemmer there a second ago wanting Brandon Jones to go in behind him and just block and make it difficult to push it all in. There's Clemmer from Gastonia, North Carolina. Rims out for Birchfield. Block it or block it? Calling for the flop. Shot. And he beautifully hits it. Brandon Jones absolutely locked in. And, and again, Birchfield misses it off the bat. And this one is over. Wow. The Young Guns, Duncan Clemmer and Brandon Jones with a absolutely dominating performance in the quarterfinals, in the semifinals, and in the finals to get into that pro shootout championship.